The FAA is investigating how two planes landed on top of each other at the Tullahoma Airport. The runway mishap hurt one of the pilots. News Channel 5's Chris Cannon is live at the airport. And Chris, you don't hear about this happening very often. Vicki, I talked with the airport manager a short time ago, and he said in all of his years of experience, he has never seen anything like this. One plane literally landed on top of the other. It happened right on this runway back here around 7.30 last night. Take a look at some video from Sky 5 HD, and you can see just what a remarkable scene this is. You can see it's literally just on top of the other plane. The red plane was privately built and flown by Gary Muir. Now, he was hurt during this mishap, and Life Flight rushed him to Vanderbilt, where he is in stable condition tonight. The other pilot, Time Harzevin, was not hurt. Now, this all happened around 7.20 last night, so it was still light outside. Federal investigators are trying to figure out exactly what happened here. FAA was here this morning. They wrapped up their investigation around lunchtime. Uh, right now, we're working on removing the aircraft from the runway so we can open that one back up. As it is in many rural airports and small airports across the mid-state, there is no control tower here. Pilots use a system, a unicom system of radio frequency to talk to each other and let them know what's going on. Obviously, that system didn't work as it was supposed to last night. We are live in Tullahoma. Chris Cannon, News Channel 5 HD.